Well, it's Sunday morning and I'm on my way over to have a bit of a look. See what them pigs are up to, if they're there still or what's going on. Ah, oh, just putting some... few uh, bullets in me rifle and <coughs> so oh, yeah. me and I'll get on the I'll start the old tractor up and off we'll go and uh, oh, I gotta get a bale of silage so I thought while I was there I thought I'd have a bit of a look and see if there was a pig before I start shooting with this rifle I sort of decided it might be a good idea to actually aim at something and see if I can hit it or somewhere near it or something so if you look up here on this tree there's a lump of something sticking out that I'll probably be able to see through the scope so I'll go up here, I don't know, 100 or 150 metres and see if I get anywhere near it before I start wasting bullets Unfortunately I don't have a helper Mrs is in bed sick She's been in bed for a month now and so I don't have anyone to hold the camera or nothing and but I do have a pretty good bench rest. I've got a bale of silage here to lean on and I'll try and put the camera on that and see if I can sort of make do with it. If you can see the shot, but probably not. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Uh, you'd know it, wouldn't you? Start bullet. I don't know. We go down and have a look at it now and see whether I hit it. Well, I've looked all around this thing. I, I can't see. You see one little spot where I might have hit it, but I don't think I hit it. I think I better do a bit more checking with that rifle before I go blazing away. I don't know if it's me or the rifle, but more than likely me, I'd say. This time I decided I'd get a bit more technical about it and tie a uh, bit of silage wrap to the tree to aim at. That way we might have a bit of a hope of seeing if it will punch a hole in it. Just as I decided, I normally don't shoot at trees because if I cut them down I don't want a bloody piece of copper and lead in my cutter bar or me, me sawmill at home or whatever but that bloody kookaburra is going crooked oh yeah look here we go look at this here's a bit of an interest he got a nest up here and I'm near his, near its nest I was a female or a male and it's going crook I wonder why it kept going crook but it doesn't like me near its nest unreal eh they nest this time of year and usually when it starts raining the babies come out around when it first sort of bit of the wet back to this yeah so I'm gonna go up here a good hundred meters and this time I'll fire two shots I'll give myself a bit of a chance and see if I do any good okay there's you see two holes here in the thing that's where I hit there's another hole over here but actually what happened there was a bit of shit flew out of the back of the tree now I wouldn't particularly say to be proud of that group, it's probably one inch apart. But at the end of the day, I suppose, you know, not much is going to get away with a group like that. But the problem is that I aim for about here on the on the uh, target, about the middle of the target, and it's over here. So you can see here, you can actually just. A confirm where those two holes are you can actually see see the two holes one hole's here and one hole's here which is is actually oh well there's the knuckle of my finger they're about the knuckle of my finger apart about an inch apart but I'm gonna have to take it aim and get a little bit more technical with a proper target and 
Um, I'm really not happy with that. Okay, well, I didn't get a pig, but I guess I probably a good thing I didn't see a pig because I probably just would have frightened hell out of it and that would have been the last I've seen of it. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and we'll catch you next time.